In a recent military operation by the Russian army, they deployed the Tu-22 strategic bomber and dropped FAB-500 and FAB-3000 air-to-surface missiles on a certain steel factory. The latter created a crater with a diameter of several tens of meters, shocking internet users around the world. However, the FAB-3000 is not the most powerful aerial bomb in the Russian arsenal. The FAB-9000 from the same series is the strongest non-nuclear bomb. The FAB series of aerial bombs was developed by the Soviet Union around 1950. It includes the FAB-500, FAB-1500, FAB-3000, FAB-5000, and FAB-9000, with corresponding weights of 500 kilograms, 1500 kilograms, 3000 kilograms, 5000 kilograms, and 9000 kilograms, respectively. Drawing on combat experience from World War II, the Soviet Union developed this series of bombs to target military fortresses, factories, docks, and large surface warships that conventional bombs struggled to completely destroy. The FAB-9000 is a free-fall bomb with relatively low bombing accuracy. It has a cylindrical body with a diameter of 1.2 meters and a length of 5.05 meters. More accurately, the bomb weighs 9,407 kilograms and contains 4,297 kilograms of explosives. It has a small tail with eight tail fins, and the bomb head is not the commonly seen blunt or sharp shape, but rather similar to an armor-piercing projectile without a cap with a saddle-like structure. The FAB-9000 can be dropped from strategic bombers at a speed of 1,200 kilometers per hour and an altitude of 16,000 meters. The bomb can penetrate the ground up to 12 meters and create a lethal shockwave with a radius of 57 meters. At first glance, it may seem that its destructive power does not match its size, but in reality, its main target is not living beings. The aforementioned shockwave is designed to cause fatal injuries to humans. This bomb is primarily used to penetrate a certain depth of the ground and utilize the explosive shock to destroy the foundations and surface structures of buildings. According to the Soviet Union's concept, dropping several dozen of these bombs from bombers would be able to severely damage an industrial area, with casualties being a secondary concern. There are not many bombers capable of carrying this giant bomb in the Soviet military. The available models include the Tu-95, Tu-16, Tu-22, and Mia-4 bombers, all of which are strategic bombers. With the advancement of air-launched missiles and precision-guided bomb technology, the Soviet military soon paid less attention to the FAB-9000 because it was designed for a world war and was not necessary in most wars or regional conflicts. The Soviet military used the FAB-9000 in actual combat in the 1980s, dropping a total of 289 bombs. The practical experience proved that the FAB series of bombs were underutilized when targeting villages, while the 500-kilogram level bombs were insufficient to destroy enemy hideouts in caves. The best use of the FAB-9000 is to drop multiple bombs into narrow valleys, where targets in such specific terrains are difficult to survive. Overall, the FAB-9000 is a weapon with tremendous power but limited practicality, unless another world war occurs. Currently, Russia still has a stockpile of FAB-9000 bombs, but they may no longer have the capability to mount them. The Tu-95MS and Tu-160 bombers theoretically have the capacity, but in practice, it would require corresponding modifications to the mounting racks. It is unlikely that Russia will make the effort to carry out such modifications and bomb training. Bombs weighing less than three tons are already quite useful, and the commonly used ones are even below the 500 kilogram level. It is unknown how many FAB series large aerial bombs are still in Russia's inventory, and how they will be handled in the future.